Hey guys, we are back with the second episode of Style Analysis. And today we're going to take a look at Kakushigoto, which is an anime adaptation of a manga by author Koji Kumeta. And the animation was made by Ajiado Animation Works and published by Kodansha. Uh, the general plot is pretty funny and charming. Basically, the the, the guy that you can see on screen uh, draws uh, a chimanga for a living, and he's worried that the fact that he draws that will alienate the his daughter from him. So he swears to keep that a secret and never let her know what he does for a living. That's kind of like the main general plot. Of the anime without having any kind of spoiler. So I chose this one because I really like the style of the backgrounds. I think it's a pretty refreshing style that you don't really see very often. And beside the aesthetic reason, I also like the storytelling reason why I think this style was chosen. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So for what concerns style, the first thing that I want to point out is color. You can see from this frame that we have very, very vibrant colors. Um, the sky is a very pretty deep blue. And you can see a little bit of grass in the bottom right corner. Um, so you can get a sense of the overall color of this, of this show. Looking at the next uh, screen, we can see that Another element that is probably the most prominent one is the stylization of the shapes and how graphic everything is. And you can really appreciate it in the way the foliage is handled. And everything is very cute, is very friendly, uh, it's bubbly. And we have a lot of round shapes. You can see how everything is handled here. We have this very like spheres pretty much that go into one another forming all of these bushes and the trees and that is uh, personally i find it extremely interesting and appealing another element that we want to take a look uh, at for the style is the way they handle uh, the texture like the bigger surfaces i think that is Pretty interesting because we get some general gradients. Um, you can see the transition. We have a little bit of a brighter color here that goes toward darker. And then same thing here. We have the bright highlight spot, the center of light here, and then it goes transition toward darker color. And I also really like how they add these graphic shapes on surfaces. You can sit here, you can sit here, and then it's repeated throughout all of the uh, all of the surfaces. Even if we take a look at the previous screenshot, you can see on the wall here that we got this you know, detail on the surface, but it's very extremely sparse and very well thought. So you don't get a lot of noise. It just stays simple, but in shape, but also in the amount that you get these. So there's not uh, too many scattered everywhere. It's just in a few selected places. Let's go to the next, next screenshot. And in this one, you can really appreciate how simple and uplifting the style is. You can see even on the character, even though we're not discussing about that, the style overall has a very simple appeal. But what I want to focus on in this, in this frame, in the specific, is that we have these very bubbly and round trees that are super, super fun. I mean, you can see a faint bit of line art at the edges here. And then there's also gradient because we have a little bit of bounce light coming from the bottom. So you can see it's like green gradient, brighter green 
here. Like everything else is extremely simple, but so well designed. Like look at this shape here is extremely well designed and we're still using a lot of, basically a lot of spheres, a lot of round shapes, maybe some ellipses here as well. And then um, the artist cuts into the shape, especially for greenery, you can see at the bottom here, to create a sort of implied detail, we have these small sections that are cut to give a sense of, you know, what kind of surface texture we have. But everything is done in a very elegant, elegant way, which is one thing that I uh, appreciate about the style quite a bit. And taking a look at this one, we can see that there is a few instances where it gets uh, a little bit more uh, convoluted, but this is this is from the opening, so it might be slightly uh, tweaked compared to what's in the show itself, because you can see there is a difference between these sort of bushes and the bushes that we saw early on. Like these ones are a lot more stylized. So I think there is a minor difference there, but it's not... Uh, it doesn't completely shift everything uh, yet. And I'm saying yet because we're going to see uh, shortly a very important key aspect of this of this show. Uh, one last thing of this art style, like the simple, the simple one that we're looking at, that I really enjoy is how they can create this transition between light and dark, and we can definitely appreciate it uh, a little bit more in certain spots. So for example, in the very first frame, we you see this uh, just a position of different color of shape to create this bending effect that goes from light to dark. You can see better here. We have this little thin uh, sliver of like ambient light coming from the sky that light, lights up the cloud there, but then you have the bottom side and they basically express everything in this style by placing shapes um, one close to another. You can see the trees in the back here, or even the clouds again. Everything is pretty much just one shape here. See? So everything needs to be uh, planned and painted very carefully to get this sort of result. And yeah, I would say these are the main elements. So graphic style, um, very stylized and pushed shape, a lot of spherical round shape language that reinforce uh, the positive nature, the fun, the cute, the bubbly nature of it. The colors, like we said, are very vibrant and the way that gradients and texture detail are used to announce the feeling of it. So what's the what's the plot twist here? The plot twist is that from the opening, uh, you can see that there's something that happens in this scene at the end of the opening. You can clearly see a shift between the style on the left and the style on the right. Style on the right is a lot more, quote unquote, traditional anime, a very um, common style that we see a little bit more detailed, more painterly uh, from the clouds that, that gets wispy to the foliage that has a lot more detail to the surface texture of the house that are not done in a graphic way anymore on the right side, but have a lot of scatter and noise to them. And you can see these in other frames going forward. I, uh, I collected a few ones and we're not going to discuss this so much just because this is a very, like I said, um, traditional style that you can see in many other anime. So it's, um, 
a little bit more familiar, I would say. But what I want to put uh, the attention and spotlight on is the reason why this decision was made, in my opinion. Because, of course, I don't, I don't know what the author was thinking about, but I can take a pretty good guess knowing the story, trying to uh, avoid major spoilers. But uh, if you guys don't want to risk anything at all, maybe this is a good place to stop listening. Uh, but I'm going to try to avoid any major plot spoiler. Basically, the the huge contrast of style that we can see in this frame, and even more so if we compare it to uh, what we have before, it's the fact that in this scene, the, the daughter is still small. She still goes in elementary school. So I think everything is vibrant, is happier because it's seen through the lenses of childhood. And these are sort of her memories, uh, thinking back on what her childhood was like. And this is why I think there is this uh, contrast between what her present self in the scene, she's grown up uh, and you can see that her worldview changed and it became uh, more detailed, kind of more realistic, more based in real life, while the memories uh, get that effect, you know, when you think back, everything looks better, feels better. And it's the typical memory effect. And I think this was uh, a choice done exactly to put the accent on this feeling. And the secondary reason, which might be a little bit more spoilerish, but not too much, is that uh, these were also the happiest times uh, of their lives. Uh, so it, it kind of includes the dead as well into this narrative. So to represent the happiness, the joy of those years, the style was made to be this way. So uh, round shape, because our, those are friendly, happy, and reinforce the overall style of, of the, the anime. And this is something that I realized while probably even when I just checked the, the opening the first time and then I consistently tried to pay attention to it while I was watching the show. And I really recommend it because it's very beautiful, very wholesome and um, heartwarming. And I, I think I really enjoyed it even more so because of this specific stylistic choice of creating this contrast in style. So yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode of Style Analysis. And if you have any show that you want me to analyze and take a look at, maybe if you want to dig deeper into anything, maybe do a little painting, trying to emulate the style so we can see how we can do that in practice, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, I will see you guys around. Take care.